I'm Chris from Diamond King Tools. Today we are going to talk about combination diamond blades. Um, combination diamond blades are basically uh, used to cut multiple surfaces. So concrete, asphalt, stone, brick, and block. Mostly you would get a diamond blade specialized for one material. But when you have different crews jumping from material to material, for instance, concrete to asphalt, you want to have one blade on the saw so that there's no downtime in taking the blade off the saw and that the workers don't get confused between which blade goes to what material. That's when a combination diamond blade comes in handy. Um, basically what makes a blade able to cut both hard and soft surface is the bond. Now, if you're cutting concrete, which is a hard surface, you need a soft bonded diamond blade. If you're cutting asphalt, which is a soft surface, you need a hard bonded diamond blade. That's really the difference between the two types of diamond blades in general on the market. But a combination has a medium bond, which allows you to cut both pretty effectively. Now, depending on the combo diamond blade, it will have a little bit of a softer or a little bit of a harder bond, which means it'll be better for cutting concrete um, or better for cutting asphalt. So each one is a little bit different in the application that it cuts best on. But that is basically what makes a combo diamond blade. The types of companies that need combo diamond blades are basically utility construction, um, heavy civil construction, most general construction. You wouldn't need to get a combination diamond blade. You'd get a blade specifically for stone, specifically for concrete, or specifically for asphalt. But again, the companies that are jumping back and forth a lot to concrete and asphalt basically benefit from having one blade on the saw. Overall, is it worth it to spend the extra money on a combination diamond blade? They can be anywhere from 15 to 30% more in price. Is it worth it? Probably. The life is about 15% less using a combination diamond blade than it would be if you used a specific asphalt blade or a specific concrete blade. This allows you to, again, keep the blade on the saw and keep on moving, but also does limit the blade life overall. So depending on the type of company and the type of cutting that you're doing, it would be worth it to use the diamond blade. We carry up to five combination diamond blades, but we do have three main ones that we feature. Each one has a specific strength. For instance, one cuts concrete better, one would cut asphalt better. And the other one is kind of right down in the middle, but they all cut both surfaces effectively and that offer good blade life. One of our most popular combination diamond blades is the Hurricane. Now, we carry this blade anywhere from a four inch all the way up to a 20 inch. Um, you know, on the smaller blades, obviously you'd use those on an angle grinder if you need to cut multiple types of surfaces. On the 12, 14, and 16s, those would go on a gas saw where you'd cut, you know, the concrete or the asphalt by hand. And the 18 and the 20s would go on a low horsepower walk behind saw, which would allow you to jump back and forth from concrete to asphalt. Although I recommend um, in the 18 to 20 inch in particular, trying to get the specific blades for the specific material. So get an 18 inch concrete blade for concrete and vice versa, but the Hurricane would cut that effectively also. The Hurricane's a really popular blade for a couple different reasons. Number one, it cuts really fast due to the turbo segments. The turbo segments really allow for a nice speed to get through multiple different types of material, concrete and asphalt, which is really difficult for you know a regular blade to do. This can go and cut fast on both materials. Also, it has cooling holes. Cooling holes allow it to cut fast and not heat up too much, which would um, then cause warping and overheating, which would then wear down the diamonds and limit the diamond blade's life. Overall, Again, this is one of our most popular blades for jumping back and forth from concrete to asphalt, but also is really popular to cut stone to in the masonry fields. One of our other really popular combination blades is the Red Devil. It has a patented design um, and that's proprietary to us, to Diamond King. You can't get this blade anywhere else. One of the um, biggest um, attributes of this blade is it's really, really effective in cutting asphalt. So most combination blades are basically heavy on concrete, lighter on asphalt. I think the Red Devil is more preferable for a cutting application that's heavy on asphalt with a little bit of concrete. The bond of, on the blade is right down the middle and is as medium of a bond as you can get. It has slanted gullets, which allows for really aggressive cutting through all those different types of materials. Again, we carry that in a four inch all the way up to a 20 inch. 
So the 16s are really the last size that you can cut effectively and safely on a handheld gas saw. Once you get to 18 and 20 inch, those are gonna go on a low horse walk behind saw. So again, I recommend always going with the specific blade for the specific material, but this will cut both effectively. Again, this is proprietary to us and a very effective blade for cutting asphalt predominantly and concrete secondarily. So our last combination blade is the Thundercut. The Thundercut we carry in a 14 inch and a 16 inch. It's a really aggressive cutting combination blade. The reason for the aggressiveness is they have slanted deep U-gullets, which really allows the blade to gouge through the material and cut really effectively. It also has an alternating turbo segment, so it really, really cuts fast. It also has a drop segment to prevent undercutting. Uh, undercutting is obviously when the core of the diamond blade wears down before the segment of the diamond blade and can cause segments to actually pop off of the blade. So this really allows you to cut effectively, aggressively, and safely. Um, this, I would say, is still, even with the drop segment, one of the more effective blades for cutting concrete in the combination application. So it's not gonna last quite as long as if you're cutting a large amount of asphalt as it would if you're cutting a large amount of concrete or block. I would say that this uh, blade in particular, the Thundercut, is really effective in the heavy construction industries, the civil industries. Um, not as good of a blade for masonry or even straight asphalt as the other two with the Hurricane and the Red Devil. But overall, a really effective, aggressive combo blade um, that is more down the middle, you know, for both of the materials that it's used to cut. So in summary, combination cutting blades are definitely a good investment. The reason they're a good investment is because you don't have the downtime of changing the blade from a concrete to an asphalt blade or an asphalt blade to a concrete blade. A lot of times we don't have that luxury on a job site during cutting to just be switching out blades and that can take quite a lot, a lot of time. So this allows the cutter to have one blade on the saw and not have that extra time changing the blades out. That in itself is worth it. And with the medium bonded blades, it allows you to cut both effectively um, and with speed. So again, starting with the Hurricane, definitely our um, most popular combination blade. Um, turbo segments, cooling holes, allows for fast cutting action, and we carry it in all sizes from four to 20 inch. I would say this is the best blade for cutting concrete heavy, asphalt secondarily, in a close 60 to 40 proximity, or even a little bit more. Then, secondly, the Red Devil. Again, this is patented to Diamond King. Nobody else has this blade in signature design. This is kind of like the Hurricane, but flipped. This is better for predominantly cutting asphalt and secondarily cutting concrete. And again, in that 70 to 30 or 60 to 40 split. They cut very similarly and have a similar bond, but are more specialized for each different material. But each person and each cutter, each company has a different preference and likes one over the other after we go through the testing process. Lastly is the Thundercut. The Thundercut is a really aggressive combination blade, really made for concrete and block predominantly cutting applications, but still cuts through asphalt and maintains its blade life. The main point to remember is you are gonna lose anywhere from 10 to 20% blade life using a combination blade while switching between applications. So going from concrete 50% to asphalt 50% in a day cutting, that blade is gonna lose quite a bit of life. The speed and the safety won't be compromised with our combination blade line because of the factors that I mentioned. The design of the blades, the bond of the blade, which is a medium bond, and also the cooling holes and turbo segments. This allows for all the important factors cutting effectively without sacrificing blade life. Um, so again, in summary, I think that combination blades make sense for a civil construction company. As far as masonry, landscaping, and regular hardscaping, I think it's still best to match the application with the blade that's needed for that application.